Hello friends. Welcome back to my kitchen. Hopefully everyone had a good week. I am feeling refreshed. The sun is shining. I'm good guys. It's been a great week. I have to say it's good to hear that. Okay guys, it's going to be a tasty stream today. It's a little bit windy outside, but we are going to be cooking outside on the egg as we'll do our little fish fry out there for our crispy cod burger. I'm, I'm excited for this meal today. Please. Okay. <laughs> Let's get into it guys. So first things first, potato buns. Okay. So we'll mix up the dough and then they have to proof for one hour. That's the bulk proof, just in the one big dough ball. So proof 30 minutes, and then bake, it said 15 to 20. Okay, in between all of those things with the timings, obviously we'll do our fish. We just have to season it first. I always like to season it before we batter it as well. And then obviously the batter, We'll just put mix up and then that's just a quick little dunk into the fryer oil. Okay, and then our slaw. And then our fish burger or cod burger condiments. I don't think I put a, oh yeah, I did do a sauce, tartar sauce. Just it wasn't in my mind because it's already made. Tartar sauce, we'll do our cheddar cheese slices and then sliced tomato, and then just some nice little lettuce leaves, you know, for color and filler, and then our pickled onion. Not a bad list today, guys. It did fill up one page, so that's good to see.
first things first. Just gonna get the fish out here. Just pop this down here. And then the batter and probably the spider to take it out of the oil. Yeah, we're actually a little bit high, I would say, but when we drop the fish and it's gonna cool it off quite a bit, so that is okay. And we wanna start with the biggest piece first. So that's gonna take the longest to cook. Let the batter fall off a touch. That looks good to me. Into the oil. We're gonna swirl it around for the first bit. So it doesn't stick to the bottom. Let it get like a little coating on it. I'm gonna drop it. Next, I think I'm gonna do only two pieces at a time. Okay, once again, let your batter kind of fall off. Give that a little swirly. That looks so good right now, guys. It's like the perfect fry. Beauty! Just want to move it around for the first bit. Make sure it's not sticking. Just use the side of the pan, right? There's like literally just enough oil in here. Yeah, seriously perfect. You don't want too much. The oil bubbles coming out of the top of that one. Insane. We're going to do a double flip for ultimate crunch and crisp. Yes. Okay, so that piece was smaller, so it should be done first. Drain off as much oil as you can. This piece was the biggest one. I might need two hands to get her out. Feels really good. Okay, just gonna close that up now. But let's get into it. Good grief. Maybe we should have kept with the, uh, the six per recipe. I just felt like it was gonna be so small though compared to like our <laughs> size of fish. <laughs> Sam, you're not supposed to laugh, but look how nice the buns turned out. Like so fluffy. Hey, sometimes we try stuff and it doesn't quite go as planned. I'm also gonna put a little bit of cheese on the warm bun because that'll help melt it. And right now, while those are sitting and we're building sandwich, I'm just gonna pop that into the oven and like leave the door propped open. So I can just like stay warm without getting soggy. First things first. I'm gonna do the tartar sauce on the top bun there. Homemade tartar sauce, guys. If you've never tried it, I really suggest that you do. Way better than store-bought. And it should not take you more than about 10 minutes. Should we do, I'm gonna do it in half, I think. I think we're just gonna roll with it that way. And then just cut the bun in half and have it like that. <laughs> That's a two fish bun. Okay, next thing I think it would be the smart one to do. Probably the tomato. Thank you, Hot Carl. Gifting this up to Small Blue Cat too. Put the tomato on the cheese so it doesn't make the bun soggy and the cheese is like put in that barrier to not make the fish soggy. Let's get our little bit of lettuce on there. Oh wow, that lettuce like somehow almost froze. 
in that short amount of time. It was in the fridge. What? Lastly, a little bit of pickled onion for like sweet and sour crunch, crispness. Easy dodge. And then the only thing I think I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cut that right now in half and then we'll do the bun in half, do it that way. This is also what shows like your skills as a cook is adapting to something when it doesn't go as planned, guys. Being like, oh, it's too big, but we can still make it work. That looks amazing. I think that looks super awesome. Yeah, that looks so awesome. I'm so into this. Some would argue that that is not too big. Okay, guys, I'm getting into it. Big, big bites. Might need a bit more tartar sauce, but that's up to you. Mmm. Super flaky fish though. Did you guys hear the crunch of the tempura? The fish is really still the star of this sandwich though. Like that is what you pay the most attention to. Everything else is just extra, I would say. The cheese is super good though. I think it is important to have that on there still. Just for like that little bit of extra funk, right? And creaminess. Lettuce and tomato, kind of just filler. The tomato could potentially make it like a bit soggy. So just watch for that if it's like really, really juicy. Shredded cabbages, carrots. We made a homemade dressing. We got a little bit of green onion in there. Oh, that fish sandwich. Can't leave it there. It's just like staring at me. It was really good. The only criticism, maybe should have made the bun a bit smaller, but that was fun. No, I have to say, way. yeah, that was actually fun to do. And now our garnishes, some toasted sunflower seeds. It's gonna add some really good crunch to this slaw. And then to make it everything, we add our everything bagel spice, AKA sesame seed, poppy seed, dried onion, garlic, and a little bit of sea salt. It's got good crunch though to it. So probably something like that is all we need. Just sprinkle that over the top. Not like amazing looking, but I think the flavor is gonna be awesome. Good first bite here. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I actually really like that. The like nuttiness from the sunflower. I'm gonna do a bit more of the spice on top, I think. And then like the crunch of the poppy seeds and sesame seeds. Sammy's into that one. That was a good idea. It's like I've seen a lot of things done with this everything seasoning, but I've never seen this. Yeah, really good. yeah just another like little variation on coleslaw. Okay, I'm gonna get that bite down and then have a little bit of this sandwich to see how they are together. And yeah, like a good fried fish sandwich. Underrated for sure. It's like that is a thing that's not really done much here. Like there's a ton of fish and chip spots, but no one really does a sandwich. It's just like fried fish and fries. Tacos. 
And tacos. Yeah, that's the other one. Mmm. You have half a mind to put that slaw onto the sandwich, guys. It's super good together. Okay, guys. I think we're wrapping stuff up. What a great stream. Nice four hours went by. <laughs> I'm going to go munch on my fried tempura boomerang that Sam made for me. I'm probably not actually going to have any of that. But I do want to finish my crispy cod burger that we made. And the coleslaw, feeling into that. Maybe enjoy a little bit of sunshine outside. We will be back tomorrow, same time as today, 11 a.m. Pacific. And yeah, it's going to be a bit of a longer stream. We got our prime rib going on the grill, so cooked over charcoal. It's going to be like a good prime rib dinner. Yorkshire puddings going into there. Roasted root veg. We'll do our red wine, demi-glaze sauce, and as well as sour cream and scallion mashed potatoes. Yum. For dessert, French silk pie. It's gonna be a good one tomorrow, for sure. Thank you guys for everything today. We had lots of long-term resubs. Welcome in to all of the new subscribers. Take care guys, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll be around on Discord if you need us. Hitting that button, bye!